Hi everybody, welcome back. This is episode 12 of Epic Chef, and today I actually have someone new with me. I have Angel King 47,000. Hey, what's going on everybody? Just joining up on Myth Ninja here, telling me all about this new game, Epic Chef, and I, I just had to see Tony, I had to see Myth Ninja, you know, what's going on. <laughs> and uh, tell, me, tell me about this game. What, what are we looking at here? Um, so it's kind of like a farming cooking sim. Uh, so I have okay. options to plant multiple vegetables. And I, don't, I haven't seen any fruits yet except for apples, but we're hoping to see more. Um, there's obviously magic items as well. There's uh, cows oh, so and like stuff. Your crops you're growing. Yeah. Oh, look, all this milk that I didn't collect. It's too much milk, oh. though. I don't need all that milk right now. It'll oh, stay wow. there, I think. Ah, uh, you know what? Okay, I'll does it go bad? Does it go bad? Um, I think it does despawn, so I probably will collect it, and then I'll put it in my chest over here. My mom told me when the milk went bad when I was a kid, if it's clumpy, chew it. Ew, that's gross. I'm joking. Okay, so I don't oh, have... Oh, you could ride that thing? That's cool. Yeah, I don't have a chest anymore, but I do have this, and I'll just put everything in here. Um, off screen, we did end up getting some sand blowfish, and we used some of these common baits. Uh, we wanted to get some some bold tunas but we'll probably do that later on right now what we do have to do is we had to go to the restaurant and keep improving this thing um we have oh, to go you got make... a restaurant too yeah so yeah this yeah. is your farm and then you have a restaurant that you sell your goods at yeah so this guy That's so cool. uh there is no biclopus dishes come on it's a seaside restaurant love the decoration pretty cute okay so that's one thing. And also this oh, guy, the fisher the mates. Yeah, okay. so the fisher mates, he wants something with high vigor, which I made in the last episode. It's at 151 vigor. If he doesn't think that's high enough, I don't know what is. And then obviously I had to make a biclopus uh, dish for her. I don't know how high she wants that thing, but I have to figure that out later. Yeah. We might, we might so cook these that. Are, these are like reviews that other customers are leaving you for your restaurant. Like yes, you yes. Okay. That's pretty cool. I like your ride, man. You're riding like an ostrich or something. Yeah, it's like a raptor type thing. Um, I right now he's like his speed is boosted up like crazy. I'm pretty sure I can boost it up even more, but uh, we we'll have to see once we get to the to the thing over here. Oh, oh and so this it's guy. Like a little town. Yeah, yeah, and then this guy wants a spirit dish sh dish, so we we'll have to make that as well. Um, so okay. I don't remember that, but right now we're gonna work on the restaurant, and uh. Put some new oh, menu I items like your, in. I like where you put the uh, location of it. It's... No, I don't have a choice on that. It's just uh, oh. they just given to me. So okay. what we're gonna pull out is this one, this fifty-nine one, and we're gonna put in this one: steamed crab and blighted bites with liquid venom. It's one hundred and fifty-one vigor. He doesn't like that. Amount of heat, I don't know what else you'll like. So these are the options you have on your menu right now at your Yes. Restaurant. So now oh. I need something with a uh, biclopus and I have I have that right now, so we'll probably try to see if we can cook that up. Um what are my other Talk okay, to so you, Vanilli so again? You're growing your recipes. You're growing yes. your Yes. Oh I do need to talk to That's awesome. I need to talk to Scrababa as well. Uh, Pilius needs exotic animal samples. Uh, that's an interesting one. I don't even know where to start with that. Um, I need to reach level 2 in my prestige, but the thing is I'm already level 8 or something like that. Uh, so let's see. Do I even have enough ingredients to cook anything? Oh, wow. Look at this. Oh, I need a... Uh, you know, I actually need to abandon this. I need to go get more ingredients. So we will head back. We'll head back and then we'll cook our biclopus thing. Oh, he's actually not on top of all the crates over there for once. Okay. Okay, back at the farm. Oh, there we go. Uh, we're gonna need some Irwin trees. Irwin fruits, I mean. Some good stuff. Um, we'll take a mandragora as well. Uh, we'll take some carrots, a little bit of rice. So it's taken you the last 11 episodes to, to build up to this point, to build all these crops. Um, in a sense, it's it's pretty lenient in the terms of stuff that you can do. Um, but there is like a, a degree of like difficulty in terms of strategy and stuff like that. So it's pretty cool. Um, right. It's it's pretty easy to build up, to be honest. Like if I were to lose everything, I could build it back up, no problem. 
Oh, okay. Cool. So this thing uh, does that. Oh man, I need to reach level 19. I'm pretty sure this thing goes good by itself. So I need something with the C. Oh, this does it by itself. Okay, so I'll probably do a blowfish, the Neville Mandragora, and then the Bicopus. So the way this works is like you see on the right side where it says empty. Okay. Yeah. Um, if I put this in the dish by itself, I get plus 30 to sophistication, which is the yellow crown. Okay, so and that then, adds to the dish. Yes. And then the evil mandragora synergizes with uh, ocean and animal recipes or uh, ingredients, which is exactly a sand blowfish. So this will synergize and give me 1.8 times to the red, which is the flame, the vigor. And then this oh, okay. synergizes with a land and magic item, which is the Mandragora. So I'll get plus 10 on my Vigor and Spirit. For that dish once you For put it For this dish I'm about to make right now. So we'll start with the Blowfish. And then you can put that in your menu. Which is exactly what I'm going to do. Okay, that's pretty cool. Oh, wow, you're actually moving it around. So. Yeah, so I'm, I'm trying to cook it and then also get really high aroma. I know it doesn't really matter when serving those dishes, but I like to put it. So you see how it's glowing now? I now have synergy okay. for this okay. item. So put this in. See an explosion. It's now oh, 1.8. Wow. Collect all these items. Uh, the reason I have to keep tossing it is because if I don't, uh, the ingredients will actually burn. Okay. So Biclopus will give sense. us more sophistication and the synergies. Yeah, so wow, look at that look dish. At that. This dish see is if really we can't reach a 50. Off here. See if we can't reach 50 aroma. Aw, oh, nope. Okay. Well, you know, that's fine. Mix it up a little bit more and serve the dish. And then we get to see what it is. Oh, oh look at him go. Barbecued blowfish and blighted bites with ink syrup. Wow. So that is going to go straight into the menu because that's what one of our reviews was that they didn't have. We didn't have a biclopus uh, option. The other problem is like trying to get a dish. yeah, like a seafood dish. Well, I have other seafood dishes, but I guess she wants a uh, biclopus. So we're going to do that real Something quick. Something more exotic. Yeah, I guess so. And then uh, <laughs> one of the other things is what's really exotic is trying to get a unicorn bacon. So I have to Whoa. somehow find a way to acquire a unicorn, butcher them up, and serve up some unicorn bacon. Wow. Now, like, yeah. I want unicorn bacon now. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we can't sing all of that because then we'll get copyrighted. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so I have one space left for okay. this thing. There it goes. So now I have a full Barbecued menu. Barbecued blowfish and blighted bites with ink syrup. Yep. Oh. And then I have this stir-fried squid and grilled pincers with slimy sauce. Carrot tartare and smoked hoof with slimy sauce. Then I have a jack jacket ghost potato and pearl niblets in a spooky sauce. And then uh, steamed crab blighted bites and liquid potato. So this is this is literally just fucking poison. Pretty really much. Cool. So some customer wants that. Uh, yeah, apparently. Uh, and then carrot tartare is just my basic dish, you know. But uh, I think along the line, once I get this done, um, I might have to change it out for something else. Okay, so that's the first part done. Now we need to go talk to Vanilli, which she is on the beach. Oops, wrong spot. Oh, oh. She's on the spot Vanilli. down here. She had a, she had a tournament, and we're gonna find out to see if she finally won. Hello, okay. Vanilli. Zest! Whoa, what is all all of this? You won't believe this, but I won the championship. Congratulations. And they gave you uh, this? The prize was a sponsorship to open a surfing school in the city, and I decided to open it here. Oh, of all places. I don't know. Oh, she gave me 200 bucks. I don't know. I feel like this district is gaining momentum. I also got you this for your restaurant. Neat. If you want to surf for a bit, I'd be happy to give you some free lessons. Hey, I might take you up on your offer. There we go. Oh, we got a buff swimsuit. What? Yeah, so I'm assuming this might be like a daily objective. Come on, put your swimming trunks on. Let's surf the waves. Hey, maybe later. You have fun, Vanilli. Okay, so let's see. We'll try to we'll try to do a quick surf. Uh, a buff oh, swimsuit. Buff swimsuit. There it outfits? is. Buff swimsuit. Guess all that farming work 
pays off. Oh, well. Oh wow. <laughs> There he I goes. Got a six pack on buff. Okay, he's so got his see. speedo on and he's ready to go. Yep, let's see. I see you're relaxing today. Say, want to surf a bit? Okay, so these are pretty much called dailies, and uh, they help increase those modifiers on the top left. Oh, this is cool. Oh, there you go. And what this do, what this does, is that it boosts up my modifiers, so that way when I get them maxed out, I eat something and then I gain those modifiers uh, based on the points of the dish I eat. Okay, so you're planning on going to do what now? You're gonna serve. Food um, we are speedo? probably gonna wait until nighttime, because I do need to talk to Scrababa. And they only come out at night. She only comes out at night. She has a, she has a bar over here that opens only at night. So we're oh, gonna, shit. we're gonna find a place to rest real quick, and we'll be back. Maybe find a shirt to put on and some. Pants. Oh yeah, I probably should go put a shirt on too. You're but uh, yeah, we'll. A raptor yeah, we'll be back. Right I'm just here to sit. <laughs> it's 7 p.m. Is she there? Yep, she is here. Scrababa, my girl. Hello, Zest. Doing fine. I'm alright. Happy to see you managed to reopen this place. Heard you own the Bicornian now. I kind of like to rob you, but no hard feelings. Like a temper with a temper like that, it was a matter of time before something like that happened to him. I still feel a bit guilty about what happened to him. Ha, huh, he'll be fine. He's the kind of guy who kicks adversity in the teeth. Ha, <laughs> I can imagine. If you ever want to drop by my place for a change, you'll be welcome. Drop by your place? Uh, I don't think so. I mean the restaurant. I know you mean the restaurant, idiot. <laughs> it's just a matter of principle. I know, I know, I own this establishment here. Like I told you, there's uh, all these little underlying jokes. Yeah, kinda... like that one's one right there. Like, yeah. oh, I knew you meant the restaurant. Idiot. Yeah, but like obviously she's like playing around with him, you know? So like they do a yeah. lot of jokes like that, which is, like, which is hilarious. My place. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> but all the food you serve are snacks. We're not really competing. It's not about money, uh, but about pride. I would only go to a restaurant if I knew they cook better than I. Okay, I know where this is going. Are you really that bored? Maybe I am. Very well then. We'll have a culinary battle, but no insane wagers. It's not like I enjoy beating, betting my neck over every petty silliness this town has to offer. Nah, just a little friendly fight. No strings attached. Okay, I didn't cool. think you I didn't think you were any strings attached until you said no strings attached. I thought you'd be comfortable knowing that I'm a bit shady at times. So you think that I mistrusted you? I'd stop mistrusting you if you told me that you can't be trusted. Okay, I see a bit of logic flaw here, but this is just a silly game between you and me. Don't you like that? Uh Duel. Duel. Hold on, I don't think I'm ready. For what? Because I need ingredients. I don't have the, I don't have ingredients. Okay, so get okay. some ingredients. Go back and shut on, on, sir. So I have some stuff on him. I'll bring my hypno fish, some mud eels, uh, a goldfish. I'll bring a crab, a cucumber squid. Um, I got yeah, apples. Prepared, I got carrot, potatoes, rice, a milk. Delicious dish. And then okay. she might start showing up at your restaurant. Yeah, well, that's the thing. I do have to beat her. So, now we will do it. Sure, this sounds like fun. Okay, so let's hope that we have the ingredients to beat this girl. Because if we don't, oh. I, I will get I will get slaughtered. Scrabble. That, okay, this is where it's starting to pick up here, Tony. Like, wow. Yeah. So, let's see. Who's the judge? Right, oh, this guy. guy. Versus Scrabble. <laughs> this guy. toy. Glamistone! Milleram car! Rupa! Oh, run a bye bye! Oh, run a bye bye! Oh, he didn't give us any modifiers. I guess I just cooked my own thing. I cook your own thing! What are you gonna cook? It has oh, to be something. Oh, that's, uh, that's the question, good. isn't it? Um. Is time against you here? Or do you no, I have, en I have enough time to do what I want. Okay, cool. Um, let, you know what, let's start with another sand blowfish. No, you know what, we'll do a cucumber squid. Yeah, let's do a cucumber squid. I was eyeballing that one, so shiny. Ooh, plus 20 right off the bat. Yeah. Get those points, turn it up here. Alright, let's see. Oh, it 
links up with this thing, so we'll do the Evil Magicora. Ooh, Evil Magicora. You were showing me some of those in your crops. Yeah. Collect those parts of the stair. You gotta keep tossing it up so there's no burn. Yep, and then we'll, oh, we'll just do a Bikelopus. So this is a slightly different compared to the uh, the sand goldfish, or sand blowfish. This has yeah. the, uh, the squid instead. You are a seafood specialist so far on this episode. Oh, this is a pretty balanced dish. Okay, so let's uh, let's give it an old serve. Huh. All right, let's see round one. Let's see what her aroma's like. So uh, the aroma is based on who he tastes first. Oh, she was at ten. Oh, it was at forty-five. Oh, forty-five. Let's tasting my dish first. Ooh. What does he think? I don't know, but he's about to taste oh, oh, it. Oh. Taste it. Oh, it's plus forty-one, down. plus thirty-two, plus forty-four. Oh, yeah, that's not bad. So 117. 117. So sometimes these characters oh, oh. have some crazy dishes. Oh my god, she's using a item that I don't even have. Ooh. Let's see. Oh boy, twenty-one. Oh, okay, twenty-six. Okay, 46. it looks like I might have okay. just barely beat her. 33. 80. 80. Wow, yep. you smoked her by like 37 points there, Tony. Yeah. Hey! Hey, I beat her. <laughs> they get so angry. Oh, yeah! There's uh, this cheesy 80s-like music. Yeah. Well, well, maybe we'll make a now. chef out of you after all. So you come to my restaurant now? Does your personal code of honor allow you to enjoy other people's food now? <laughs> Fair enough. I'll be coming to your restaurant, but do not expect me to praise your food if I don't like it, just as I don't expect you to do so for my establishment. I kind of like your establishment. Just for that, you earned an extra. You earned an extra. Enjoy it. Dang, she gave me cash! Alright, defeat oh, Scrabble. Oh. So we defeated her on the first try, which is usually interesting because sometimes those don't go very well. Oh, there um, you go. So it's 7 p.m. Uh, what's gonna end up happening is I'm gonna have to sleep. Okay. Skip to the next day. We'll get the reviews in the morning, cause she's the last one I believe that I have to uh, help or defeat to get her to come to my restaurant. Good morning, Zest. Oh, we're at 21 prestige and we got seven things. Oh. Damn, we earned 665. All right, so let's go look at those reviews. Let's see what she said. Let's see if she likes yeah. anything on the menu. Let's go to the mailbox. Birch. Let's go. Oh, on, and then Birch. we're also hoping that the farmer, or that the fisher mates, like the vigor dish as well. Vanilli. I definitely oh. recommend this. His Biclopus dishes are always a plus. Amazing food. Love the decoration. Pretty cute. Scrababa. Surumi dishes, please. Gotta love the style of the place. Quite impressive. There is, there is just enough vigor in the dish. The food is perfect. Did a bomb good off. Did a bomb go off or something? Oh, he doesn't like the decorations. Okay. So I need to put more decorations, I guess. Yeah. So and because usually they give me four stars. If it's below and four Scarabba stars. Scarabba wants shurumi dishes. Yeah. So you might have to replace that first dish with the Yeah, I'm going to have to. And I just realized that I also need a dish with bacon in it. Or unicorn bacon. So that means I'll have to replace something else that's not as significant in order to put that in. Um, okay. So, oh, not here. So surumi. What do I need for surumi? Oh, I can make surumi right now. Oh! All right, let's do it. Meal and crap. Yep, I got it. Yeah. Alright, that's Surumi, and it uh, goes with other seafood. So. Okay. So I could either do that with the cucumber or the blowfish. Alright, alright. And what is a Surumi actually? It is. Oh, it's a mix with a specialty animal. Okay. Oh, and then look at this. Why does that unicorn delight special dough? Pink dough. <laughs> so it's literally <coughs> unicorn. Oh, gets its distinctive pink color from unicorn droppings. Ew! <laughs> it's that's literally unicorn poop. It's literally unicorn poop. <laughs> oh, that's gross. You're gonna serve that? Uh, I, I might. <laughs> yeah, I, I might. Would. 
I bet you really like the dessert. Try this. Oh gosh. So, oh, this thing's pretty cool. I think it modifies with uh, land and vegetable and sea and animal. And I'm sure that last one is probably going to be magic. Magic of some sort. Or magic and That's mixed. Cool. The pink does some good stuff. Okay. All right, so let's focus on one thing at a time, though. Surumi yes, yes, yes. dish, right? Yes, surumi dish. Uh, yes. Bring samples to the Infinigen. Yeah, we're going to keep improving the restaurant for this episode. Okay, cool. We're going to... Do you want to put some decorations up, maybe? Or... Yeah, I'll probably start putting some decorations up if that's what he really wants. Um, so, let's see the surumi dish. So, um, so the cucumber squid... I'm going to do the cucumber okay. squid. Uh, the reason I'm going to do the cucumber squid is because this means I'll be able to take off two recipes, keep the cucumber squid and the surumi dish in there. So uh, this should be nice. Okay. All right. So cucumber. I because um, I need the squid in the menu for the cats. But the thing is I need to be able to properly, like, manage my, my menu. So... I need to make sure that it, it all is looking nice and tight. It balances it out like you don't yeah. have. Oh my God! I might actually be able to replace the. I might actually be able to replace the high sophistication dish on this thing too. Ooh, tomatoes! Oh, is it apple? Oh, apple! Ooh. That mm. would make it pop, wouldn't it? It's yeah, like let's do it. I mean, it's the only thing that synergizes, so I'll do it. Wash. Up, grab my yeah. modifiers. Ooh, 30, 25, 64, and let's serve it up. Oh, stir fried stir squid and coral stir. kebab and a snow white kalbi. What? Yeah. And now that's going to be added to the menu. Yeah. You should love that, your newest restaurant customer. Yeah. Oh, shoot. Okay, so we're heading over there real quick. Yes, because I do need a squid dish, awesome. and that's all that I needed for one of the customers. So... And then this customer needs this one, so it works out. Yeah, so the squid dish is this one. Yeah. Uh, oh, and I think the squid dish I have right now is actually better than this. Oh, it's way better. Wow, so the customer okay. for that's going to love that one, too. Yeah, so look, 30, 31, and 44. Wow. Okay. And this one, this 30, 25, and 64. The sophistication is a lot better. Yeah, let's go with it. Okay, so... And the aroma and the is aroma better, is better too. too. All right, so yeah. take that so one So your off. restaurant's even going to smell better. Yeah, so... And Snow White Colas. All right, there goes the squid dish. All right, so we take that squid dish off. And then we're going to take out my uh, Tartar one off. Because that one's going to be the space for the unicorn. The unicorn poop. The unicorn bacon. Not poop. <laughs> bacon. Oh, um, poop I should probably in. feed some of these to... What's it called? I should probably feed some of these to Birch. Okay. So, he said, did a thing come in? He doesn't like the fact that we don't have enough decorations, I think. Oh, yeah. Look at this big um, open space, Tony. What are we doing with this? Yeah, I know. I need to That's find out. Uh, I The thing is, I could only do... I can only build clients' tables. Like, I haven't unlocked this third thing yet, so I'm not sure. Okay. What, and then I actually Go don't have decorations seat. at all yet, so I had to figure out what I'm going to do with that. Okay, um, what's this building? This, whoa. Yeah, these are all stuff I've already built. Um, so we need to go back and get some and wood. Because we need three planks for these tables. So And then maybe when you start building the tables, your crafting will go up or something. And you can get decorations on that. No, I, it's a progressional thing. So the okay. more I play the game, the more on stuff I unlock. So I, I pretty much I had to keep going oh, so through the have... story. And then eventually you'll get the decorations. So. Yes. So right now we're gonna go chop some trees. Oh, let's talk to this guy because I can't remember what kind of dish he wanted. Greeting, citizen men. Uh, we might have some healthy food. Okay. So I don't think I have a good spirit dish on me right now. Oh, the wrong button. Uh, not that button either. Okay. So let's see. Do I have a good oh. spirit dish on me? Something with how? That's thirty spirit. That's thirty-one. Okay. I want something with better spirit. I don't want to just give him just a plain Jane. 
dish, you know? And unfortunately, I'm too far ahead to, like, try to, f like, fix it, I think. Okay. Oh, shit. So, what the hell are you doing in here? Oh, that's right. Tables. <laughs> what? Cat. I've never heard this sound before. Oh. oh! What's this? There's people in there? Order. Oh, a new order. Let's see what flavors they want. Oh, they want no vigor, only spirit. I should respect the indicated flavors. They'll pay for the ones they want, but deduct money from those they, they're, they've crossed. Oh, so... I think I have a... Yeah, this one. High spirit, but low sophistication. I mean, uh, vigor. Oh, what about what about my wood dishes? <laughs> no. Uh, I'll do this one. All eels. So, okay, that's one wrapped up. Oh, cool! So I, I actually can oh. serve people in here. That's a first. That's awesome. Well, I'm happy I was here to see your first time. That was my very person. first order. Okay, so this oh, one. Oh, look at that. I want... Because I want... Yeah, yeah you don't want to block the walkie way. Yeah, so one right there. One right here. Oh, no, I need to move that a little bit. And then one... One right here, I think. Because I want them to be, like, behind the seat, so... Bah! Oh! It, it exploded. Yeah, it gives me all my stuff back, though, so... Oh, okay, that's cool. Yeah, so it's pretty nice. Like that, like, it's pretty generous. Okay, so... I think it's right here. Is it right here or up? Yeah. I think it's no, right no, here. Back, yeah, right there. Yeah, there it is. Okay, so that's three more tables. So I have four lined up against that wall, three in the middle here, and then obviously that's with time seven. I'll fill up these. Yeah, so it's seven tables. If yeah. that's not enough for him, I don't know what is. Okay. So, oh. right there, I think we'll end the video for now, and we'll continue off. Uh, the next episode, what we'll be doing is uh, we'll try to see about getting these exotic animals. Wow. Get these exotic sounds... animals. That sounds amazing. I mean, good good luck to you, Tony, on this epic adventure, man. The, the unicorn bacon and pink unicorn poop. <laughs> I mean, I'm curious to see what improvements your restaurants, decorations, everything's going to happen, man. And thanks for showing me this game. <laughs> yeah, for sure, man. I thank you for joining me, yeah. and uh, it's always fun having you along. All right, man, for sure. Thanks for having me again, man. Till the next time, Myth Ninja. Alrighty, you guys. Have a good one. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you guys did like this episode. And I'll see you guys all in the next one. Epic Chef!